With a new day comes new strength and new thoughts. That's good old Eleanor Roosevelt. Good quote to get going, guys. So with a new day comes new strength and new thoughts. So today's a new day. Let's get moving. Here we go. Now, make sure that back is nice and flushed up against the seat. You wanna have a slight bend in your knee bend when your leg is out straight. So you don't want the leg too stiff and you don't want it too bent. Really important to have the right adjustments going on with your seat height. So Coach Kim ready to give you this 45 minute workout. I have my dial set at one right now. We are just gonna warm up for the first two minutes. So I am focusing on the timer right here in the middle of your screen. Nice and big print. I don't know about you guys, but I like big print. So let's go ahead and get moving a nice moderate pace. So on a scale of one to 10, one being super easy, 10 being really, really hard. Right now I want it to feel like a three, something super easy. So we're gonna be doing a lot throughout this 45 minute workout. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be integrating some upper body and even some lower body exercises. And there'll be a couple times we do get off the bike. So I'm gonna ask that you do what works for you. You're gonna hear me keep repeating that because we're all at different levels. Some of you, this might be, um, you know, you're fairly new to exercise. Uh, you haven't been on a bike for 45 minutes in a long time. So go easy. When I say we're moving our level to five or six, maybe you want to keep it to two or three. So whew, let's go ahead and get going. Ah, breathing in your nose, out your mouth and breathing in and breathing out. So we're going to be moving that dial up to about two in about 30 seconds. So again, just kind of getting nice and warm. I want you to put your palms down with your, th or your hands down with your thumbs facing up. And I just want you to wake up these shoulders. We're just gonna get things moving and grooving. Oh, your body is meant to move. Body's a machine. And remember, fitness is not a destination. It is a way of life. So just put it in your calendar. You intend to move your body and exercise until you're at least 110 years old. Ah, we wanna age well. And I consider exercise a fountain of youth. Good. It's a good anti-aging. Keep going. Yes. So let's get a couple more. Perfect. Let's move our level up to two. So we're just adding a little bit of resistance. Now some of you on the top right, you have it set to miles per hour. That's fine. That's just obviously how fast you're going. If you have it set to RPMs, which is revolutions per minute, it's how many spins you're doing. Right now, again, on a scale of one to 10, I want this to feel more like a four, maybe even a five. We're gonna be playing with some intervals. Interval training is a great way to really rev up that metabolism. And that's kind of the goal for most of us. We wanna lose fat, we wanna build muscle. And the best way to do that is cardiovascular exercise and doing these intervals a couple times a week is great. And that means getting uncomfortable for short periods of time. So it's followed by a work period, followed by a rest period. Also, 150 minutes a week, minimum of cardiovascular exercise. That could include a bike, swimming, rollerblading, walking, elliptical, running, whatever gets your heart rate going. I want you to do that for a minimum of 150 minutes a week. And you could break that up throughout the day as long as you get a 10 minute bout at one time, that's great. So here you're gonna be doing 45 minutes. Whoo, super. You know what, more is better. So the guidelines, Actually, it's the sweet spot is 150 minutes a week. I know I like to get 30 to 60 minutes a day in. Great. Twice a week, I'd love you to get some weight-bearing exercises, some dumbbell training, maybe just using your body as resistance. There's different ways to do that. And we will be doing a little bit of that off the bike here. If you happen to have some ham weights or bands, you could always add those as well to our exercises. I'm gonna show you without the dumbbells and the bands for right now. So keep going. Yes. Now we're going to be moving our level up to three. If you feel like two is it, hey, this feels like a five to you. You want to keep it here. That's fine. Everyone else, let's go ahead and move it up. Yes. So keep that spinning. Keep going. We're getting that body moving. So I would like your hands like you're saying stop. And I want you to breathe out and push forward. Yes. Beautiful. You're going to work those shoulders. We're waking up the body. Love it. So as I was saying, 150 minutes a week of cardio, you can mix match it, more is better. Twice a week, minimum of resistance training. Yes. Boy, you couple this with a healthy nutrition plan, your body is gonna love you forever. You have less aches and pains. Reach. Good, let's get a couple more. One more. Good, interlace those fingers up above the head. 
And just give me a slight bend to one side. Good. Now give me a slight bend to the other side. So don't overstretch. I don't want you falling off that bike now. Go again to the side. And then go again to the side. Excellent. All right, let's go up. Let's pick it up. Right now I want this feeling like a six on a scale of one to 10. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. So we're gonna maintain this for two minutes. So stay in it. We're gonna be just a little bit uncomfortable. And I'll talk to you, I'll distract you through this. So don't you worry about anything. 45 minutes of me and you, boop. Love it. I'm enjoying being with you and I hope you feel the same way. So keep going. So I want you to pick up your foot. And I hope you're wearing good quality sneakers. It's really important. If you've had the same shoes since 1998, it's time to get some new shoes. Shoes are usually good for about three to six months of consistent use. And it's really good guys to pick up a good quality pair of shoes, okay? Some of them with good solid support. Just go to your local shoe store and tell them you know, what your need is. Are you walking with them? Are you running? Are you whatever you use them for? Maybe some of you play tennis or pickleball. All right, keep going. You've got one more minute. So quality shoes. And I say this because these shoes or any shoes, new, newer shoes, support your back, your knees, your neck, your joints, you know, the shock absorption. So it's really important to go high quality on your shoes. Ah, much more important than those fancy clothes we're wearing. Although I don't care whether you're wearing fancy clothes or non-fancy clothes, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is the fact you're moving and you made a good decision to do so. Because mentally, you're gonna feel better, I promise you. Immediate results. I want you to watch this great TED Talk, one of my favorites. It's, I'm gonna say roughly 15 minutes long. It's by Dr. Wendy Suzuki, a neuroscientist, and she talks about exercise in the brain. So you got 10 more seconds. I'll tell you more about this in a sec, so keep going. Keep going. We're gonna bring this down to level two. In three, two, one, bring it down to level two. Ah, so watch this TED Talk. Just Google, Google exercise in the brain. Take that 15, 17 minutes, however long it is, watch it. Because I promise you, no matter how old you are, you watch this, you're gonna say, oh my gosh, Coach Kim is right. Exercise in the brain, I can't believe all this great stuff. My, my focus, my reaction time, my memory, how it decreases your chance of dementia. Ah, lots of good stuff goes on. As a matter of fact, it's the most transformative thing you can do for your brain is move. So keep moving. I'm gonna keep giving you those reasons why, because we all have a why. What's my why? I had somebody ask me that. What's my why? And by the way, in 20 seconds, we're gonna get more uncomfortable. We're gonna go up two more notches. I'm gonna go from two to four. We're gonna maintain it for two minutes. So get ready. We got about 10 more seconds. What's my why? I'm gonna tell you my why in just a sec here. Just hang loose with me. Here we go. Three, two, one. I have moved mine up to four. I picked up my pace a little bit and I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable. So again, on a scale of one to 10, this feels more like a six, maybe even a little bit of a seven. So you're a little uncomfortable. You know what? It mentally makes me feel good. It's almost like when I move and I enjoy running, rollerblading, I enjoy lifting weights. I enjoy the TRX strap. I enjoy biking, kayaking. Let's just say I love to move, I go out west and do a lot of running races. I enjoy running half marathons. And anyway, I enjoy the therapeutic, how it makes me feel, the endorphins, their serotonin. It's, it's immediate feel good feeling. So if something's stressing me out for the day, I'm, I'm automatically just, oh. you know, and most people do feel that way. So, and it gives me more energy. I don't have a problem sleeping and I'm grateful for that because sleep is really important. It affects our hormones. And also if you're having trouble gaining weight, Sometimes it's because of sleep. So like I said, I'm really grateful. I'm good at it. I'm good at sleeping, but many, many millions of Americans are not. So get ourselves into a good routine like we do with little kids. You know, take a shower at night, at the same time, read a book, keep the electronics out of the room, journal, sit out in nature, pet your dog or cat, do whatever makes you feel good. We got 40 more seconds. My other why is I want to age well. So I'll speak about my age. Some of you might be wondering, how old is Coach Kim? Well, I'll be 53 this year, so coming up. But you know, I feel better now, you know, at 52 years old than I did when I was 22 years old. You know, I was still active then, but I wasn't eating as healthy as I am now. 
Keep going, you got 15 seconds. I enjoy eating healthy. 10 more seconds. Keep going. So I love the energy I feel from my workout. And bring it back down to two. It's like meditation while moving is kind of a, a good way to define when I come back for a, a run or rollerblading or whatever I might be doing. All right, we're bringing it back down to a feeling of like four or five. Excellent. I want you to put your palms down, tummy tight, relax your neck, little anti-slumping exercise. So for 30 seconds, I just want you to pinch that upper back together. You're breathing. So think about what is your why. That's kind of your homework right now. Lock it in and think about your why. You got 20 more seconds. Do you want to fit into those jeans that are sitting on the bottom of the drawer? Do you not want to yell at your kids or grandkids or maybe your spouse? Ah, or maybe your friends or family, whatever it is. Maybe you have some work stress. Keep going. Maybe you just want to feel better. You want to age well and relax. Good. We all have something. Finding that meaning, that purpose. Good. All right, in about 30 seconds, we're going to jazz this dial up again. As a matter of fact, I want it to feel like a seven on a scale of one to 10. Now a 10 would be like a sprint where I wouldn't be able to talk to you right now. A one is super easy. So on a scale of one to 10, I want it to feel like a seven. And we're going to get there, but you're going to only hold it for one minute. So we're going to bring it up even higher. I'm going to bring mine up to six. If that's too high for you, then keep it at four or five. Too easy, move it up. All right, guys, here we go. I'm at six, picking it up. I'm uncomfortable for one minute. You're gonna feel it in the legs, the heart. Come on, healthy heart's a happy heart. Keep breathing. In your nose, out your mouth. You know you always feel better after a workout. Keep going. It's only for one minute. Oh, love, love, love. Keep going. If you've only got 30 seconds, you could do anything for 30 seconds. This mind of yours is very powerful. Choose happy thoughts. 20 seconds, Abraham Lincoln once said, we're about as happy as we make up our minds to be. Good old Abe, you got 15 seconds. Whew. Keep going, does this feel like a seven on a scale of one to 10? If it feels like a nine, you need to back off the, 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 uh, the dial here. And that's three, two, one. Dial it back down to two, please. Ah, feel a little recovery. Good. So again, we're back down to probably feeling like a four or five right now. Let's keep moving. So I'm doing these little intervals. So far I've done two two minute intervals and a one minute interval. Whew, integrating some shoulders, some back exercises. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna get our shoulders again. As a matter of fact, we're gonna do something called traffic cup. Whew, put those arms up like a traffic cup. You're gonna bring your arms down. You're gonna bring them up. 30 seconds, rotator cuff. Yes, one of the most flexible joints in the body is your shoulder. You gotta move it. If you don't move it, you lose it. Motion is lotion. Lift up, good. You've got 15 seconds. Anybody's shoulders crunching a little bit out there? I call those Rice Krispies in the knees and shoulders. It just means we're alive. And it's a great day to be alive. Reach up, you got one more. Good, take one arm across. Let's go ahead and give your shoulder a nice little stretch. Ah, breathing in your nose, out your mouth. Good, and let's go to the other side. So it's really important you get winded like this. We're revving up that metabolism, throwing the log on the fire to keep that spark. And also throughout the day, go out of your way, take the stairs every time you see stairs, forget the elevators, park far away and relax. Good. So guess what? Let's move it up to four. Ready? Three, two, one. Dial it to four. We're going to maintain this for three minutes. You can do this. This is not very uncomfortable, just a little uncomfortable. Think of it like a scale on one to 10, like a six right here, maybe a little bit of a seven, but we're going to maintain it for three full minutes. You've got this. Ah, so why you're riding, why you're thinking those good thoughts, you're thinking, hmm, what is my nutrition plan today? You know, so many people eat out and you can make good choices when you eat out, but you need to be mindful of those choices. Get the sauces on the side. So if you order, let's say you have salmon out, instead of getting all kinds of buttery sauces on it, ask for the sauce on the side or no sauce at all. 
And instead of starchy things like french fries, you know that they can sub out vegetables. All you have to do is ask. Most restaurants are wonderful about that. We're one minute down, we got two to go. All these little changes add up. And you know, I've been in this business over 30 years. I've seen some remarkable results. And most of those results come when people couple consistent exercise with making those changes, even little changes in their diets. So instead of putting like the, the heavy artificial creamers in your coffee, just put a little bit of milk, even 2% milk, that's fine. <sighs> Drinking it black, it's only five calories. It's kind of like a baked potato, okay? Coffee, five calories, nothing in it. All the junk you put in the coffee, yeah, those big things, I won't even use the name that you can buy at coffee shops. Those are like loaded six, seven, 800 calories, some of them, but you're going, oh, Coach Kim, it tastes so good. Don't, you know what? Once in a while, that stuff is fine. I'm talking about the consistent every day and you know who you are and who I'm talking about. A baked potato. Do you know a baked potato is only 100 calories? 700 milligrams of potassium, good stuff in a baked potato. What happens when people get a baked potato? Well, let me throw in the bacon bits, this much butter. Let's throw in some sour cream. You know, that's what makes the baked potato not so great. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. I'm just speaking it and some of you are listening to me, but if you get that baked potato, just put a little bit of butter on it. Perfect, you got it going on. You can put some broccoli in there. Some people even use salsa. So it's all these little changes that add up. You just think about it. If you use a, um, an app, it's a free app called MyFitnessPal. There's another one called Lose It on your phone. It's free. Use it. Document everything you eat and drink and be honest when you use it. So put down everything you drink as well because that adds up. And the only things I typically drink, keep going, guys. Oh, we're almost there, 15 seconds. I drink water, maybe a little bit of sparkling water from time to time. But if you have acid issues, don't go too much on that. I drink fresh, unsweetened iced tea. Get ready guys, we're moving it down to two. In three, two, one, down to two, good. I'm distracting you with all this nutrition talk. So, water, unsweetened iced tea, and coffee. Those are pretty much the only drinks I have, and if I ever do any kind of fruit juice, I do dilute it. So I might have some cranberry juice, the no sugar added, with a little bit of seltzer water, things like that. <sighs> so I don't know, some of you are tuning me out, and some of you are tuned into this nutrition talk, but. I hope I reach out to some of you just to make some, just start with one small change today. So whatever it might be, let's say you're one that loves to put all the, the fancy creamers or maybe you go and get the, the fancy drinks every morning wherever you go. Maybe you can start by, instead of getting the big one, start by getting the little one and then just start from there. <sighs> Keep going. Maybe the one that loads up that baked potato with all that stuff. Well, maybe you can just eliminate one of the things. So the little small changes add up, I promise you. I see it, plus you feel better. Breathing in your nose, out your mouth. <sighs> Breathing in, out your mouth. In about 30 seconds, we're gonna be hopping off. We're gonna be doing a squat. Now, those of you that have seen my other, um, uh, the bike, the other apps that I've been doing, I'm gonna get you off and we're gonna do 10 squats. I'd like you to do three sets of 10, okay? But for the sake of our um, session here, it's just gonna be one set of 10. I'm gonna also show you options. So I want you to go ahead and put your feet out, feet facing forward. You can use this to stand up, stand nice and tall. A functional movement called a squat. Use your hands for balance. Sit your butt back, just tap and stand. I'm putting my weight heavy on the heels. Don't let the knees buckle. So back and up, beautiful. Get your butt back. We're on number three here and up. If you need some assistance, hold on to the bars. Just a little assistance for it helps. Bad knees, just don't go all the way down. That's five. Think about how often we do this movement, six every day, and you'll be doing it for the rest of your life. Seven, so you're working all the leg muscles, the butt, eight, yes, and that heart, you can't flex that muscle, but it's very important. Let's get one more, and perfect, have a seat. Notice that heart's ticking a little bit. Maybe it's ticking a lot of it. Let's get going, I'm on level two still, keep going. And that's okay, whenever you work large muscle groups like squats or lunges, that does elevate the heart rate up as opposed to doing bicep curls, which is good because you're strengthening the arms, but it's not gonna get the heart rate up like the legs do. Good. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna be lifting up about three notches for three minutes of uncomfortable. Get ready. And I'm gonna go one, 
two, three, I'm at level five. If you wanna do three or four, that's fine. Now on a scale of one to 10, this feels like a six, maybe a little bit of a seven, okay? It is uncomfortable. Don't you worry, I'm gonna be getting to those eights, nines, and tens soon too. So keep moving. Ah, yes. So nutrition, I hope I get your attention with that because a lot of us think sometimes we're eating healthy when we realize, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not eating so healthy. And there's been some challenges. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna bring this up to you because I've done this with a lot of my group classes and clients. Can you go seven days without eating added sugars? Seven days. So this means you need to read food labels. By the way, we have two more minutes here. So for example, when you buy yogurt, read the food label. Does it have any kind of sugar in it? And that includes cane sugar, fructose, sugar is sugar. So get the plain yogurt, plain yogurt. That's all you see in there is you, the, when you read the ingredients, you don't see, I'm not talking about the grams and stuff. I'm talking about the ingredients. And the first thing that's listed is most of what's in something. The least of what's in is, is what's least in it. Okay, so no sugars in the ingredients. Ah, keep going. If you look at the kid yogurts, it's all full of sugars. As a matter of fact, the average adult consumes 66 pounds of sugar a year, and the average 10-year-old consumes 110 pounds of sugar a year. That's a lot of sugar. And then we wonder why diabetes is on the rise. One in three people have prediabetes. It's projected by 2050 that one, I got this from a registered dietitian out of her journal, one in two people will have full-blown diabetes in 2050. Guys, it's important. We exercise, be mindful of our foods. We got one more minute doesn't mean you can't have that ice cream once in a while, but for seven days, I want you to read the food label. Soda, that's a big one, big, big, big one. There's a great Netflix documentary I brag about called uh, Fed Up, and it's about sugar. And it's interesting, because uh, it talks about people that drink one soda a day increases your diabetes risk by 22%. Interesting, and I used to be a soda drinker, guys, so over 20 years ago, I made that decision to stop Hardest addiction, they say it's eight times. Sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. Did you know that? It's been a lot of, there's been a rat study. And on these rats, they had 43 of them. They were cocaine addicted rats and they put out the cocaine and the sugar and those rats went to the sugar before the cocaine. Very interesting. So I'm not saying do cocaine, you guys. I'm, of course you're not doing that. But I am saying be mindful of your sugar. Okay, bring it back down to two for me. Ah, breathe, good. So I hope you made that commitment, seven days. You know what, start right now, start right now. Yes, this means you can have an apple, a banana. I'm not talking about whole foods. Whole foods is fine, you're in. Barbecue sauces, mm-mm, nope. So read those labels. You'll be so pleased. I've actually had clients lose a lot of weight from this seven days of no sugar, no alcohol. I've even had people do 30 days of it and they come back reporting to me, smiles on their face, inches gone, saying that's just amazing. So do me that favor, just try seven days. And those of you that really die hard and loving it, try 30 and I'd love to know what you think and how you feel. Good. All right, so we are over, uh, we're about halfway done with our workout here. How you feeling? I'm distracting you with all the sugar talk, I know. Ah, I've learned a lot over the years, and I just like to pass on my education to you. You know, eating a whole orange is processed totally different than drinking eight ounce cup of orange juice. Did you know that? Totally different because of the fiber content in that orange. So eat the whole fruit. You don't want that body. It's like drinking a soda when you have orange juice, except for it's loaded with vitamin C, which is healthier. But if you have to have orange juice, just have a little, maybe you can squeeze it yourself. And just have a little bit of it, or better yet, have a whole orange. All right, in 30 seconds, we are gonna fire this up. As a matter of fact, I want you to look down. Right now, I'm at level two. We're gonna go all the way, I'm gonna go all the way to seven. That's a pretty tough level. I want this to feel, on a scale of one to 10, it's gonna feel like a nine. So it is gonna feel pretty uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, you're not gonna like me. But you know what, you'll get over it. Okay, so let's go. I'm moving mine to nine, all the way, or a seven, all the way up, feel the resistance, pick up your speed, go. We've got one minute, one minute. Keep going, come on. You've got this, 
No stinking thinking. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Good, lift up on those pedals with your feet. Breathe in, breathe out. 30 seconds, yes. If this is too much, back it down, back it back down another level or two. You can work up to this. Keep going. You've only got 20 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. 12 seconds. I'm gonna bring it down to two after this. You should be looking forward to it. You can't talk to anybody around you. And bring it back down to two, bring it back down. Yes, recover. So I want this to feel like a four right now. On a scale of one to 10, it feels like a four. That was pretty tough. That was our toughest interval. Proud of you, you did it. It was for one full minute. We're gonna be doing more of the same. If you could read all the stuff I read in these journals about how exercise and getting that uncomfortable like we did impacts your body on a cellular level. You have very happy mitochondria in your cell. The mitochondria is getting bigger. You know what this means? You're burning the fat. That's good stuff. And most of us want to burn fat and gain muscle. Have you ever heard anybody say, I want to get fat and I want to lose muscle? No, of course not. And after the age of 30, we lose muscle mass every year. Did you know that? And so there's a lot of you looking at me right now going, well, I'm over 30. Well, so am I, which is even more reason we need to keep doing weight bearing exercises and be consistent with our exercise routines. No excuses. Uh-uh. Nope. <sighs> yes, and we don't get a nice butt by sitting on it, guys. We got to be moving. Keep moving. We have over 600, we have about 640 muscles in the body. And I don't want to neglect any of them right now. We're going to be moving. <sighs> getting a lot of these legs. We're getting your glutes, getting your quads, your calves. Excellent. Now we're going to be doing another squat. We're going to do 10 squats. We're going to go there in 30 seconds. So the same thing we just did a little while ago. But the difference is I am going to add your calves. So we're going to go up on your toes with this movement. So you'll see what I'm doing. 20 seconds, the same squat, but when you stand up, you're gonna go up on those tippy toes. Keep going, 15 seconds. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep going, breathing in and breathing out. All those happy cells. Okay, go ahead and take your feet out. Remember, they're facing forward, weight on the heels. If you have to use this to help you up, that's fine. Keep your head forward, get your weight back. Sit and up, so it's just a tap, tap. Two, again, if you need a little assistance, hold on right here, go up on the toes. Three, almost forgot. Down, up on the toes. Four, tap, up on the toes. Five, now you're integrating the lower leg. Six, go all the way back. Up, seven. See how it's just adding another feature here. Eight, toe raises, very good for those calves. Nine, let's get one more for fun. And 10, good. Have a seat back down. Whew, so that was called a squat to a calf raise. Beautiful. All right, we're still at level two. I'm gonna wait for another 50 seconds before uh, we're gonna add another one of those pretty strong intervals in. Ah, so you should be saying, bring it on, Coach Kim. I can't wait. Exercise is fun. Eating healthy is fun. Program your mind into thinking these things. And you know two words? I love to use I am, I am strong, I am healthy. You know, so many of us use these words I am in a negative context. I am tired, I am sick, or I am sick and tired. No, we get rid of those negative words, replace them. Maybe you're not, maybe you're not, you're gonna say you're sick, say I am not well. I am not well, your mind remembers that word well. All right, let's get ready, pick it up. I'm going to level seven. You do what works for you, but I want you to feel uncomfortable. This feels like a nine on a scale of one to 10. One minute. I am strong. I am healthy. I am capable. So again, use those words I am in a positive way. You can practice that when you're driving. Keep going. When you're thinking, when you're standing, you're sitting around. Maybe you're mad at your spouse or your friend. I am miserable at that person. No, 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 no. I am grateful. Boy, I love that one. I am grateful. 30 seconds. Keep going. What's your I am today? Mm. 
Yes. I can do this. 20 seconds. Keep going. 15. Oh, I am healthy. Keep going. I am strong. 10 seconds. We're going to bring it back down. Come on. I know this is uncomfortable. Keep with it. Keep with it. Almost there. That's three, two, back to level two. This is a recovery. Let the heart rate come back down. Ah. So again, this, this feels like a four on a scale of one to 10. Ah. Hang in there, guys. We've only got about 15 minutes left. Easy peasy. You've got this. I'll distract you with all that nutrition talk, you know? Let's put your palms down. If you have dumbbells, that'd be great. Depending on your level of fitness, anywhere between one and probably eight pounds, you're gonna lift up, squeeze the bicep muscle, come back down. Even without weights, you're gonna feel this. So squeeze the bicep. That's this top muscle right here. Squeeze, come back down. Good, strengthen these arms at the same time you're working the legs and the heart. Up, good, 15 seconds left. Squeeze. You know, when you get more fit and stronger, it helps you with everyday life and really helps you mentally. Put you in that instant good mood. Up. My family likes me better when I work out. Ready? Up. And then come back down. Good. Let's extend that left arm out straight. Put your palm down. The arm is straight, not bent. Keep it straight. Now take that same hand and put a palm up like you're saying stop. Keep the arm straight. Now golfers and tennis players, these are great stretches for you. People that have carpal tunnel syndrome, maybe you sew, you type. Put your other hand palm down, pull. These are excellent to do. You could do them daily, twice a day, three times a day. And then put your other hand up, palm up, pull back towards you. Very nice. So give me some blinkers. Blink, 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 blink. Our hands are so important. Roll, roll. Reverse. Reverse. Good. Excellent. Shake it out. Whew. Oh, man. I'm already feeling more energy. You are going to sleep better tonight. You watch. Watch what happens. You're going to hit that pillow. Boop. Gone. Exercise does make people sleep better. So let's move this up. I'm going to move mine up to level five. And let's go. Keep going. We're going to hang here for three minutes. You've got it. So on a scale of one to 10, it feels more like a six, maybe a little bit of a seven kind of feeling. Keep going. So basically uncomfortable. Keep moving. Mm -hmm. Now hands by your side. What I'd like you to do is you're going to put your hands up, elbows soft. Notice how it's only parallel to the ground and come back down for 30 seconds. Lift up. This is working the side of the shoulders. Come down and bring it up. You feel a little burn in your quads because I know I am. It's awesome. Keep going. It means things are moving and grooving. I promise you, the more you exercise, it's going to get a little easier. Now, a question I've been asked is people say, hey, if my muscles are sore, what should I do with exercise? Well, delayed onset muscle soreness usually happens for several reasons. Bring it up. Let's go one more. Most people lift up and rest. They feel it two days after a workout. So if you've never exercised before, let's say you haven't been on a bike in years and you're just now doing a 45 minute workout, you're most likely gonna wake up and feel a little bit sore. Or those squats, for example, you haven't done squats in years, you might wake up with a little tenderness in the legs, you get these little microscopic tears in the muscle fibers, and then they heal and grow back stronger. So it's very normal if you haven't worked out in a while, or you're doing something new that you haven't done for a while, or some people, they overload the weight. So if we're doing the bicep curls and you have a pair of 20s in your hand and you haven't, you're used to doing them with fives, you're going to be sore, okay? So soreness does get better, but it's very important. Your muscles adapt to its workload. Therefore, you need to change things up. So if you've been doing, watching me on this app for 30 years, well, good, that's great. I'm, I love you watching me for 30 years. Have, we haven't even been on 30 years, but your body's gonna to adapt to its workload. So it'd be good for you to do the bike one day, maybe the rower the next day, maybe go for a walk the next day. Keep going. And let's bring it back down to two. Ah, bring it back down, good. So it's good to mix things up. Same thing with a resistance training routine. Okay, so maybe the squats are starting to get a little bit easier. If the squats work for you, it's certainly not gonna hurt you, but if your muscles are sore, you need to let them recover. So a good way to do that is to go for it. So if you wake up tomorrow and your legs are a little stiff, 
to go for a little walk would help, to go for a little swim, just something mild and light, to take a hot bath, to use a foam roller to stretch, get a massage. So there's different ways, but just sitting around is not gonna make it better. So moving gently, take a little walk in a park or a beach, that would, uh, that would be my recommendation to you. Good, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Because I still get sore from time to time. It all depends on uh, what I'm doing. Typically, you know, I ran a race <laughs> in California. And, you know, I live in Florida. And let's just say I'm not used to those hills. You know, even treadmill training, which I did, you know, on inclines and in little bridges that we have around here. Well, let's just say a Napa Valley had some hills that went down, it went up, it was a trail run, one of my most favorite runs ever. I couldn't even get, when I was on the plane, I had to hold on to every seat to walk along the aisle from running a race. And I've ran lots of, lots of races. So let's just say I was a little sore. So I had a smile on my face, but it made me think I did something different. Hills, wasn't used to it. Ah, so I hope you don't get as sore as I was because that was pretty sore. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna do a two minute interval. So right now I have it on level two. We're gonna be moving it up. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna move mine up to number six, okay? So I want you to pick a feeling, go ahead. I'm moving mine to six. You might say, hey, Coach Kim, four is good for me. Or hey, I'm, I'm in beast mode, I wanna to go to eight, that's fine. But for two minutes, pick up that pace. Yes, keep going, keep going. Now, I want your palms back. I'm gonna distract you during these two minutes. I want you to keep the arms straight, head forward, and we're gonna work the back of the arms. Push, back, push, good. For 30 seconds, you're gonna feel this contraction in the back of the arms. Yes, you're feeling it in your legs too, because I know I am. On a scale of one to 10, this feels like a seven, no, it's actually more like an eight. This is a pretty solid eight feeling. Push, it's uncomfortable. Good, keep going. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds, we're stopping our arms, not our legs. So don't get too excited. Back. One more. Good, keep moving these legs for one more minute. Keep going. You can stretch these arms out a little bit. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Whew. And then switch. Back of the arms. A lot of girls like to work the back of the arms. I remember my mom always saying, how do I work this? Oh, guys. Good old tricep exercises like kickbacks, overhead extensions, close grip push-ups. Oh, we could go on and on. We got 45 seconds. But that resistance training will help your triceps. Whether you use dumbbells, tear X straps, bands, your body. Keep moving, it's a matter of doing it. That's the key. 30 more seconds and we'll get a reprieve. That's the hardest part, guys, is motivation. It's people have that desire in their head, I wanna work out, I need to work out, but it's getting to that next level of doing it, which is what you're doing right now. So that's the hardest part is showing up. So I'm really, really, really proud of you. 15 seconds. Whew. Hang in there. 10 seconds, we're going back down to two. Mm. Now, when I say two, I mean level two. In three, two, one. Let's move it back down. Excellent. Breathe. Good. So this feels like a four on a scale of one to ten. It's almost like a warm-up kind of mode. Keep going. Yep. We're going to do one more squat. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit harder. We're going to do what's called a partial squat. So those of you that are a little more advanced, you're gonna love this, do it without holding on. Those that need a little bit of help, you just assist by holding on to the bar, just slightly. Remember, I don't want you, it's not an upper body exercise. This is gonna be a lower body exercise. We have 20 seconds. Now the good news, we're only gonna do five of them. You'll see why. I kinda of have that little evil laugh going on in my head. Wah ha ha. So keep going. 10 more seconds. Best medicine in the world right here. I already feel better, how about you? All right, let's take these feet out. Same position with your feet forward. You're gonna stand all the way up. So let's do a tap, a partial, a tap, one rep. Down, half, down, two, down, half. If you need help, hold on right here. Three, down, half. How's that burn? Oh, four, one more, down. Half, down, up. Oh, I know that lactic acid, things are built up in those quads. They're screaming at you. 
that's good. I'm not screaming at you. I'm giving you a thumbs up. It's good stuff. Whew. Oh. Now the good news, we have less than seven minutes. That's it. Yes, and after this, I know, nobody's, you know, some people, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. I'm just gonna speak frank with you, okay guys? So many people think, hey, I just did 45 minute workout, so I'm gonna go have chicken fingers and fries and a big pitcher dark beer. Mm-mm, no. Not if it's gonna, you're, you're, if you truly have the goals you wanna reach, then we're gonna make some healthier choices. Think about grilled chicken. Yes, think about a sweet potato, even that baked potato we talked about with a little butter. How about some vegetables? Do you steam your broccoli, asparagus, carrots, Brussels sprouts? Remember to eat your G-bombs. Do you know what G-bomb stands for? Let me tell you about G-bombs. Dr. Joel Furman, great doctor. These are anti-cancer fighting foods. G stands for greens, not Skittles or M&Ms, no. I'm talking about broccoli, asparagus, all those good greens, greens. B stands for beans. Do you eat your beans? O is onions, M is mushrooms, B is berries and S is seeds. Eat your G-bombs every day. So that's how you remember it, this acronym. G, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, seeds. So put that in your hat and pass it along to your family, your kids, your grandkids. Say, are you eating your G-bombs today? So what I did, I make an egg white veggie omelet. I'll put one egg in there and the rest whites, but I put my G-bombs, my onions, my rush mushrooms, I put the colorful peppers in there and I'll have some blueberries on the side. Good stuff. Love my G-bombs. All right, let's get ready. Now, we're gonna move it up to level seven. Here we go. The dial it up to seven. Those of you that are hardcore, move it to eight. If you have to back it back down, we have one minute, one minute. I want this to feel like an eight on a scale of one to 10, maybe even a little bit of a nine. Let's go. If it feels like a nine, that's even better. This means it's very uncomfortable. Good, keep going, keep pushing, come on. Mm-hmm, oh, we've got this. No stinking thinking going on in your head. You shift that negative thought, you've got this 30 seconds. We can do anything for 30 seconds. Let's go. You've got this, 20 seconds. We'll bring it back down on the dial to two. We've got to earn it. 15 seconds. I know you feel the burn. Burn, baby, burn. It's gonna get you some great results. Let's go. <sighs> Almost there, five seconds. That's three, two, one. Bring it back down to level two. Let it feel like a four on a scale of one to 10. Maybe even a three, that's okay. Recover. We're gonna be doing it again. Less than four minutes, everybody. Music to your ears. How's the heart ticking? Good, that's what I want. And if it's not, either maybe you're just kind of being conservative because, you know, the way you feel more than the heart ticking, because I mentioned about the blood pressure earlier, the medicines, you know, the medicine knocks, it keeps your heart under control. So it's not going to beat as rapid. You have to go by how you feel. So if you didn't feel uncomfortable in that last one, maybe either you're new to exercise and you're being conservative or you didn't push yourself hard enough. So I'll give you another chance. Don't you worry. We're going to do this one for 45 seconds. Same level you just did. So if you were at five, that's five. I'm gonna be doing seven, but it's only gonna be for 45 seconds. So if you can spin a little bit faster, and you can tell by looking at that number on the top right, just see how high you can get that. Let's go ahead and move it up. 45 seconds, go. I'm at level seven. So go back to where you were for 45 seconds. Spin faster. Get it going. Ah, you're thinking about those G-bombs, aren't you? No, some of you guys are going, oh, I'm thinking I can't wait till I'm done. Come on, keep going. <sighs> Breathe, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. I know it's more intense because you're pedaling faster. Same intensity, 15. I got you covered, come on. Uh-huh. <sighs> Five seconds. We're gonna be moving it down to level two in three, two, one, bring it back down. Ah, recover, recover. You can go easy peasy, that's fine. We have one more interval. This one is gonna be only for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So I want you to breathe, breathe, breathe. Yes. 
Now, hands by your side. I want you to do what's called a shrug for me. The shrug works the upper trapezius muscles by the neck here. So I just want you to lift up your arms and then come back down. So you're bringing those shoulders up to your ears, up and back down. Let's not roll them. We're just gonna lift them straight up like you're saying, I don't know, all the way up. I don't know. Keep going. Up, oh, I'm timing you. Let's get 15 more seconds of shrugs. Up. Yes, you do know that exercise is king, nutrition is queen, and you know together they make a beautiful kingdom. Up. So you'll impress your friends. Next time you go out to eat, when you order the healthier foods and relax, good. Bring your head to the side. You know, when they see you ordering the grilled chicken with the vegetables and all the sauces on the side, go to the other side. When they see you drinking the water or the ice, unsweetened iced tea, and relax, good. You know, one glass of red wine is fine, but you know when you talk about wine, people think, oh, if one glass is better, that means a bottle must be even better for me. That's kind of how America thinks, right? We, we tend to overconsume and over want things. So <laughs> let's move it, guys, all the way. Back to where you had it, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, go. I want this feeling like a nine or 10. Anyway, not the bottle of wine, guys, glass of wine. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. <sighs> Breathe, let's go. We're almost done, <sighs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds, we're gonna bring it all the way down to level one. Come on, you've got this. Woo! In three, two, one, down to level one. I want this to feel easy peasy like a level two right now on a scale of one to 10. So in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna have you push that recovery button on the left side of your screen up there. It's gonna give you a one minute extra cool down. I encourage you, if you need to take two or three minutes, cool it down. Good, let's go ahead and push that recovery button on the top left. Remember to drink lots of water. Make sure that urine is pale yellow or clear. I know that sounds crude, but it's kind of a good indicator of water. And I want you to enjoy your workouts and making your healthier food choices. Thank you for joining me.